Five. Hi, everyone. Happy New Year! It's the first time I'm live since the New Year. Happy New Year. Um, we're going to be interviewing Tacy today. Um, and I am going to let her show up. Uh, as soon as we have her, we'll be discussing how she returned to acting and became unapologetic. All right, there you are, Daisy. I'm going to invite you. I, you don't see anything? Okay, I saw your invite, so I'm accepting it. So you sh should be showing up. Yes, you're showing up. Oh, it's on the phone. Sorry. Yeah, so we're going to be on attack. both. Oh, we're, we're going to be both. on both. Okay. Yeah. Do you want me to get a stand? <laughs> uh, uh, well, yes, I do. Let me, I just think a stand would be better. Yeah, so no let me get one. No problem, go for it. We can chat while you're going through rooms and no, stuff. Because this is no, part of being spontaneous, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. But it's I, all but about I, spontaneity. Because you're, because you're walking, I cannot see you on Zoom, so I'll have to wait. Okay. We're yeah, on Zoom so soon. We, yeah. There we no go. Rush. All right. I should have told you about the stand. Yeah, okay. I didn't know about the stand thing. Sorry, no, I thought it was just... Um, don't don't be. As I said, we're not aiming for this to be perfect because it's perfect as human as it is. Okay. In our in our work, we believe perfect is means human. It doesn't mean anything else than human. So this was perfect. There you ah, go. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> perfect. So I'm going to record this. Different on angles. Zoom. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, you can you can choose where you look. You can go from one to the other. So we have both. So, hello, hello. So so uh, tell me, um, you reset uh, recently. So tell me, tell me before and after. What was your okay. transformation like in the recent? So well, first of all, I want to uh, say that I originally started your program and bought your program during lockdown. Mm -hmm. I think I only got halfway, if even that. Yeah. Um, I was definitely not even, I don't know. I think even to start, you need to be a little open, you know, just to even start. I mean, I know the whole point is then we open open up even more mm -hmm. but even to start you know get halfway through you already need a bit of openness mm -hmm. and i don't think i was that during lockdown i think um mm -hmm. a lot of stuff had happened i was very tense i was just you know maybe looking for something to do and i wanted to get back into acting mm -hmm. and the thing is it was like a rock hitting me of oh my god you know yeah Whereas when I did it this time, the second time going, it was just different. I was mm -hmm. I was more open to going crazy or whatever you want to call it and really going for it. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so that's how I feel. And then by the end, I mean, it was the thing if I already saw good results um, mm -hmm. already through halfway through to the point where I felt nearly I want to do nearly the last third because I don't nearly think I was in the last third as well mm -hmm. as I could have been because I was starting to audition again mm -hmm. or book mm -hmm. little stuff or short you know what I mean mm -hmm. yeah. and so it was nearly like I nearly feel I nearly want to do the third last again mm -hmm. just to kind of yeah fully do it yeah so so if if we went specifically into let's even look at a number before doing it how open were you um on, on one to ten uh, and on the lockdown time or this time let's say this time the time that you did uh, it all the way I mean, 
I was okay. I was like five. I wasn't, okay. I felt like locked down. I was a one or two. Do you know what okay. I mean? Okay. okay. That then the, doing the first half gave you a five. And then when you finished it, when you finished resetting, what would have been your number of, how open were you? Um, so I'm going to say eight in a weird way. I think just um after the halfway i was nearly a nine mm. but nearly when other stuff came up i nearly that one i lost nearly a bit if that makes mm -hmm. sense mm -hmm. um and that's just me being totally honest you know yeah, yeah. i mean um yeah, of i i nearly think it was i just there was this section after the halfway mark what i was like i felt i could have done anything like mm. shakespeare al pacino mm. movie you know like and then I just felt a bit, maybe it's overwhelmed because you want to now go out into the real world and do mm -hmm. it. And yet nearly a few hits and you, you start, I mean, you don't drink as much as you used to, but like you feel a bit, you know, sometimes. Yeah, you're, you're alive. So no matter which level you're at, you're always going to be acciliating, just like an Olympic athlete you'll you know you can get to 10 even 11 and then you'll need to contract a little bit get new life experience have yeah what you you call shrinking which is a little bit of contraction and then you can expand even more after that so it's not mm -hmm. like you're living material right so it's not like you get to 10 and then it never moves it's like you get to actually a, a very high baseline and mm -hmm. from there you can still expand so that's wonderful how would you say it felt sorry no, I was just going to say, and what, what what's great about your program is you can just, you can become more self-aware of that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you yeah. can be you're honest actually, with yourself. You're actually aware. Yeah. That's, yeah. And then you can deal with it yeah. because you're aware. So. Yeah, because I think that you're right. Before resetting, before going back to feeling what we feel, well, we don't know what we feel, so we're not in touch with it. Most of the time we're numbing what we're feeling so correct so would you be able to remember when you were at one of level of opening so before your first <laughs> reset how was that what was your life experience like how um, are you feeling in relating to acting so i think first of all there was a lot of quote unquote trauma from why i quit mm -hmm. do you know what i mean so i won't go into it here uh, originally but also me wanting to come back was during lockdown i had just been through a terrible breakup and it had been a very personal like shaming thing mm -hmm. so it's nearly my personal life hadn't made me less open and even more like like this i was my shoulders were literally like this my mm -hmm. posture had changed mm -hmm. so it's nearly opening up a bit of my personal life again it, helped into really coming yeah. back properly um uh and and you know and then you go into the program you deal with stuff that's happened in the past anyway as well yeah. um yeah. but it was a mix of the history of me with acting and why i quit plus that some a very bad yeah. breakup let's put it yeah. that way so yeah. that's yeah. what made me one <laughs> yeah you know? yeah definitely so. and so so what are the what are the words you would describe of your emotional state when you were you know at that level how is it feeling to to relate to acting hardly it's like i mean in a weird way the desire was there the spark of the desire to get it out but i couldn't it was yeah. so weird it was like locked up repressed mm. I felt I had to check myself talking to like, even with the exercises, I felt I was watching myself do it mm. totally different the second time around. Yeah. Um, so how, uh, how different is it now? So from being locked out, disembodied, watching yourself, so that, that sounds really hard. How is it mm. now? What's how, what, how would you describe the feeling now? when you're to be acting. honest i'm just gonna be crude and say it's i don't give a fuck <laughs> as much and That's that wonderful. really feels great you know and i you know look sometimes i look back at a self-tape and i go oh that was a bit but 
I don't know. I feel, I do feel like a kid again, like I can do anything, That's you know? Wonderful. And wonderful. if I do some crazy wild choice, mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, I'm not like, oh no, you know, yeah. bad, shut up, you no know, shame. like. Uh, you're just like yeah that's where the unapologetic comes you're an artist you shouldn't care about what other people think right yeah yeah you're unapologetic because you care about you and about what you create which is amazing how did that on both sides how did that affect you with life in general like your relationship to yourself before when let's say when you were one and then when you were the eight uh, now the eight or nine how, what was your how would you walk your life how did it impact the rest of your life well one definitely lots of self-loathing uh mm -hmm. on both sides of the yeah. equation and it just kind of added to the bad stuff that had already happened it yeah, was like i was punishing myself even more if that makes yeah. sense yeah um and then the other side was even if the new kind of Create, like I remember I was in a social place uh, where I attend quite often like a club uh, that I'm a member of and I decided to try the two of pounds not dollars in my country uh, thing on a bartender you know mm. and it was just interesting to see people around look and go what you know I and it was what I'd say is I feel in act Thing and in um, my life is I've kind of scared away the bad guys or the people that actually shouldn't be around me Connect and the good, yeah. the good people haven't by the what boy the bartender found it hilarious afterwards he yeah. actually gave me the two pounds <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's um you just kind of are like oh this 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 me that's being revealed is actually finding its place in the world too if that makes sense yeah um, yeah and that's definitely. so important because yeah. it makes you a better actor as well and in business yeah as an actor yeah. because you're finding your right people to work with Absolutely. in the future as well. well you have more yeah you have more of a compass you actually are able to be more selective because you know what works and you know what doesn't work because you're in touch with your feelings mm -hmm. and therefore you sift through whereas when you're disconnected disembodied and judging yourself all the time you're gonna allow anything in because you're like well mm -hmm. i'm shitty anyway so i might as well get that person in my friend group or business team whatever because mm -hmm. i'm not worthy for anything better so yeah that does impact everything that's that's great um so it, let's if we if, if we rewind what made you consider the reset in the first place um i mean it was as basic as advertising ah. <laughs> i will say i saw your advertisement yeah. on instagram um and i was just i think i liked it because well, did i do that intro thing and you know i got to take my mind back to lockdown because it just sounded like something i needed in in life in general to get out of myself after all the horrible junk yeah you know so it was i felt like and oh i remember there was a one lady um in the advertisement i believe or maybe it was separate where she said i think it it's not even it makes you a great actor it makes you a great person or something like that mm -hmm. and i got teary hearing that i'm like yeah Aww. you know i was just yeah. like that's you know and it's you know it sounds corny we all want to be better actors but we also like to be a better actor for the long stretch. We, we need to feel good about ourselves, you know, oh, not like you can't. There's definitely no way that you can, you know, if you're not in connection and fulfilled with who you are as an actress, there's no way that any audience can watch you and feel you. Right. So there's no the greatness has to start with you, the feeling great with yourself. If yeah, not, that that doesn't translate. That's for sure. Had you tried um, other approaches? Had you tried more traditional approaches before resetting? I mean, definitely as 
since I grew up because I already did theatre as a teenager, like here mm -hmm. in London. I did a West End show. I did Edinburgh Festival. So I was from, I mean, I didn't go to RADA. It wasn't that traditional, but it was mm -hmm. lots of traditional things. I did NYU summer. I did oh, Brown yeah. University. You know, I mean, it was, you know, classic Stanislavski yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, so... I guess coming back into it now, I wanted something more raw, you know, like, mm -hmm. and, and still, you know, once in a while, especially for theatre, I do some uh, workshops, theatre workshops mm -hmm. once in a while to just mm -hmm. keep the traditional, the yeah. but I wanted something crazier, you know, to yeah. just break in again, break in, yeah. sounds like a yeah, thief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Breaking like, yourself. <laughs> especially the yeah. new me, I feel yeah. just like more of an animal now, you know, yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah. I just needed that. That's what yeah. I needed. Back to your primal energy. What did you, did you expect this or what did you expect when you decided to start resetting? I expected it. Of course, once it hits you, you're like, oh. <laughs> I have to do especially interestingly enough I mean two pounds exercise yes that was hard but it, it was interesting because doing the zoom things I could do the exercises but for some reason it annoyed me when they went on for too long mm -hmm. I was like impatient I was like already oh, I'm okay we've done this now Joe yeah. let's get yeah. on with the next that's what my little brat inside yeah. was uh -huh. saying but I made myself stay in it yeah. And it is true, like more comes out then. Yeah. And um, and then I thought to myself, especially when I shot something recently, you know, you do take after take after take. You need to just still be in it and carry on Absolutely. and not. Absolutely. And so for me, that was actually the thing I didn't expect, how long you made us do certain exercises yeah. Yeah. for yeah. that long, you know? Yeah. It was like, yeah. Yeah. And in terms of the result of how you're feeling now compared to the very beginning, did you expect it would make you take that much of a big leap? It would make you so unapologetic? Mm, that's a good question. I don't even think I know. <laughs> yeah, maybe you don't. I, I, mean, I, didn't, ex I didn't really. Uh, and, you know. Yeah. Sometimes we I just kind of went for it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and try and trust. It. Yeah. No, no, but I get it. So I think that sometimes, you know, people have the expectation is big, big in the back, but they don't trust it anymore. So they're like, oh, whatever. If it makes me feel a tiny bit better, that's great already. And then you're in and then you're surprised. Yeah. Right? So Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. I mean, so some of the exercises yeah. surprise me for sure. Oh, um, definitely. But... They're very <laughs> untraditional. They're very untraditional. Yeah. However, absolutely cutting edge. So it, it makes you go where you need to go for sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, what else did I want to ask you? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, who do you think? Because actors are watching these exercises just like you watched uh, these testimonials, just like you watched someone <laughs> who is sharing their experience um, after resetting. What type of actor do you think is best suited for this? Because if sometimes people are considering doing this work because it's so radically different than traditional approaches, they might think, you know, I don't know if this is right for me. Um, if do you have an opinion? Maybe you may not have an opinion, but do you have an opinion on what kind of actor this type of work is for? Um, just someone who's ready to go a bit wild. You can't. You can't. You have to be bold. You need to throw mm -hmm. caution to the wind, um, and also the kind of act is someone who's like i mean i'm i'm saying from personal experience what's the new me as well so the old you know obviously the kid from when you were little but yeah. also what's the new me mm -hmm. you know uh, it's metamorphosis so i yeah. think actors who are looking for a metamorphosis 
who mm. perhaps even if they've been working have done a certain type of role or mm -hmm. blah 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 you know what I mean and they just Absolutely. kind of they're looking for the next yeah. version of the, not to, version to of them that's something. inside yeah there yeah, we go yeah yeah. yeah yeah I love that word um yeah thanks for sharing that 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 feels so true um totally okay um I think I feel like we've covered your experience in the reset is there anything that you need to add that you feel that we didn't touch on mm, not really um i just it's like i nearly want to do it again yeah, you know, yeah. just to yeah, do it again stronger and yeah. you know who yeah. cares if i some scare people, people. Do, some people do it many times yeah. many yeah. several yeah and you can start when you stop doing the exercise you can start seeing your instrument rust a bit you know so if you just mm -hmm. keep doing it you just yeah always do something you yeah, know the practice definitely no Sorry. definitely well thank you Daisy. thank you for thank you joe sharing your experience your wisdom <coughs> your words i will say to anyone who's watching this that if you're interested to get some info about this and talk about <coughs> the reset see if it's right for you you can just i'm stuck I mean, you can just text us the word um free 100 and then we'll send you some information and um yeah thank you Tazy. Tazy. Cool. thank you yeah, Joe. yeah. <laughs> let me um turn this off bye guys bye